In this video, we will present a practical demonstration of the OpenApp software that we use in our Pi Home solution, a home automation system built on Raspberry Pi and Arduino. We offer a pre-configured solution for a model family home, including control of all lights, sockets, heating circuits, and blinds or shutters. Temperature, humidity, and movement in each room are also monitored. The system includes a pre-prepared security system, heating regulation, and motion-triggered lighting based on sensor values. This solution can be customized by anyone to suit their own needs and adapted to any property, whether it's a house, cottage, or apartment. For beginners, this is easier than starting from scratch with a new installation of OpenHab or Home Assistant. Our goal is to make the initial phase easier for you and teach you how to operate an automated home, change and expand its functions, as home automation is not just a one-time investment and you will surely want to customize it to your needs over time. Let's now move on to the promised demo. Here you can see the graphical interface on the devices that you will most commonly use to access home automation, the central tablet, and your phone. On the home screen, you will find a description of the house's status on the first line. Functions such as turning off all lights and sockets when leaving the house and securing individual rooms are linked to these statuses. It is also possible to set a night mode, for example, turning off and securing only the ground floor or securing the garden. In the next section, you can monitor the number of switched items, and by clicking on them, you can turn them on and off. The last section is a demonstration of graphical representation of data to control the rainwater level. Electricity consumption, photovoltaic power plant, and the hot water temperature indicator in the boiler. After logging in, it is possible to customize this home screen or simply add any information from the entire system to it. In the second tab named Locations, you will find individual rooms and all the information and settings for that room. For demonstration purposes, we can use the bedroom, where we can demonstrate heating regulation based on the changing room temperature. Heating, whether it's an electric valve for water heating or electric underfloor heating, is turned on if the temperature drops below 1 degree Celsius, as set on the thermostat. If the room temperature rises 1 degree Celsius above the set limit, heating turns off. For the heating mode, it is possible to target the room temperature, floor temperature, or set fixed heating time intervals and rules. In rooms, it is also possible to trigger light on after motion detection. In the rules, you can again set an exception to turn on the light only during astronomical night and determine the length of lighting after motion detection. These peer sensors automatically send motion information to your phone when you are not at home. In the last section called Properties, you will find groups of the same types of items grouped under individual tabs. Here you can easily see all the lights, socket circuits, heating circuits, blinds, temperature and motion sensors, and heating mode settings. The system includes a pre-installed InfluxDB database where all data is stored in Grafana, a useful tool for displaying graphs and statistics. Other parts of the system are highly individual and it is up to you as the owner to decide what else to implement. The OpenHab software is licensed under open source and can be customized according to your own needs. 
The OpenHab project has plenty of tutorials available and if needed, we also offer training and per-user customization services to achieve your specific requirements.